Male pattern baldness occurs in approximately 60% of the male population and can be a factor in one's self-esteem. Because of this, many so-called remedies have been developed to reverse this process, but never in the form of a prescription medication until the arrival of Propecia. However, before one chooses Propecia, there are important facts regarding its side effects and you need to know that Propecia's manufacturer has not revealed to its consumers facts which have contributed to many men experiencing permanent side effects. So what is it exactly that connects undisclosed information about Propecia with permanent side effects? Finasteride, Propecia's active ingredient, acts by inhibiting the enzyme known as 5-alpha reductase type 2, which is responsible for converting testosterone into dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. Though DHT is three times as potent of an androgen as testosterone, Propecia's manufacturer indicates that it is a negligible hormone and can be inhibited without serious consequence or complication. In fact, we are only told that DHT is, quote, a key cause of hair loss. What is not explained is how DHT is essential for a healthy male libido, keeping estrogen in proper balance, male fertility, size and function of the prostate, the maintenance of genital structure and size, and nitric oxide regulation. Without DHT, these functions are impaired. Propecia's action also influences levels of other vital hormones, among them testosterone, luteinizing hormone, and follicle-stimulating hormone. In one clinical study, finasteride was seen to increase testosterone by 15%, as well as a 24% decrease in FSH and a 16% decrease in LH. Quoting the study's findings, continued administration of finasteride alters the serum levels of testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, FSH, and LH significantly. Additionally, another study reveals that estrogen also increases on finasteride. This can often cause gynecomastia or male breasts and has the potential to cause breast cancer. Any significant change in hormone levels may upset the hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis and affect hormone production as a result. Propecia's elimination of 70% of the body's DHT is a form of androgen deprivation. Androgen deprivation causes, among other things, the shrinking of the male prostate gland by cell apoptosis, or simply, cell death. The male prostate gland, while on Propecia, becomes involuted. What does this mean? Prostatic involution has many alarming effects, such as a decrease in semen, decrease in size and weight of the penis, penile fibrosis, and erectile dysfunction. Additionally, as the prostate hosts nerve bundles crucial for proper erectile capacity and penile health, finasteride's damage to the prostate may cause nerve damage similar to what can occur in prostatectomies. A clinical study notes, we conclude that finasteride causes prostate involution through a combination of atrophy and cell death. This means that Propecia effectively decreases the function and size of the male prostate, another side effect which can cause a host of damage. Propecia's direct effect of inhibiting the 5-alpha reductase type 2 enzyme doesn't just impede the conversion of DHT. Rather, it also impedes the production of what are known as neurosteroids, hormones which play vital roles in mental health. Among the neurosteroids which finasteride directly impairs are allopregnanolone and tetrahydrodeoxycorticosterone. Why are they so important? A recent study suggests that, quote, these steroid derivatives possess anti-convulsant, anti-depressant, and anxiolytic effects. Another study reveals that, quote, finasteride administration in humans has been reported to be associated with some behavioral and mental disorders related to low levels of allopregnanolone in the brain. These neurosteroids have important roles in the brain as GABA-A receptor modulators and provide a sedative and antidepressant benefit that, on Propecia is likely to be impaired. Anxiety, confusion, and depression 
are very common symptoms among those who suffer both long and short term propitious side effects. Unfortunately, there is an unknown number of expropecia users worldwide who have acquired persistent side effects from finasteride use despite quitting the drug even months or years prior. This condition is known anecdotally as the post-finasteride syndrome, which typically involves a massive post-drug decrease in endogenous testosterone, luteinizing hormone, and follicle-stimulating hormone production to hypogonadal levels within weeks of quitting the medication and often fails to respond to treatments designed to restore androgenic activity in these men to prefinasteride levels. The postfinasteride syndrome symptoms include depression, loss of libido, erectile dysfunction, muscle atrophy, penile shrinkage, sleep disturbances, hormone imbalances, and more. Speaking on this condition, world-renowned male health specialist Dr. John Chrysler addressed the post-finasteride syndrome at a recent symposium. And I am just totally against finasteride. I have had so many patients come to me who that medication has destroyed their life. I've had uh, several patients, there's a, there's a Yahoo forum for the uh, finasteride sufferers and there have been several suicides on that forum. For some reason, some men have systems or endocrine systems are just all set to get broken. And they take finasteride even for as short as a week and it destroys their lives. They become depressed, weak, impotent. And the problem is when they go off the, the drug, their symptoms remain. We don't know why. They come in, perhaps if they're hypogonadal, we can do something like that. I try to restart their system. But too often, they have very good testosterone levels, but have all the symptoms of hypogonadism. And that is a very serious problem. These guys are seriously screwed up from taking that drug. I have never prescribed it and never will. Currently, there has been no scientific research to investigate the causes or reasons for persistent finasteride side effects or the post-finasteride syndrome, and thus no official diagnosis, specific effective treatment, or cure exists. For the men affected by this debilitating condition, they now have to live a daily nightmare of significantly reduced quality of life and loss of overall health, vitality, and sexual, mental, and physical function. The good side of the drug in terms of doing what it was supposed to do, I thought it was amazing. I was, I was, I was really amazed with the results. So yeah, I guess it's easy to get lost in that. But was it worth it? No. No way. No. Uh, if I could go back now, I'd no, never touch this stuff. I just can't understand how something like that can be available to the public. Um, you know, I was, I was, I was very close to just wanting it all to end. In a recent update, both the Swedish Medical Products Agency and the UK Medicines and Healthcare Regulatory Agency have officially changed patient warning information packages to now include amongst propitious side effects, quote, persistence of erectile dysfunction after discontinuation of treatment. Slowly but surely, the medical community is realizing the hazards of Propecia use. With this video, we believe in at least properly informing Propecia users of the additional truths many neglect so that you can make an informed and reasonable decision about your health. It is up to you to choose which you value more, cosmetic appearance or the ability to function healthily. Although most men do pretty well on Propecia, this anomalous illness is just a pill away. It's your choice. Propecia sufferers may need your help. If you are a victim of persistent Propecia side effects, please participate in a current study being conducted by George Washington University professor Dr. Michael Earwig. If you are a journalist or reporter, please contact us if you are interested in publishing a story on this illness. If you are a doctor, scientific researcher, or medical professional, please contact the Propecia Help Support Group if you are interested in investigating the post-finasteride syndrome, providing insight into its potential cause, or generating medical awareness of this condition. For more information on Propecia side effects, visit PropeciaSideEffects.com or PropeciaHealth.com.